पी एम आई ए एस एंड वेलकम टू द न्यू जर्नी फॉर यू पी एस सी सी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर दैट वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टू डे दैट इज ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट हियर द ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट एज अन एज एन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी ऑप्शनल that which is very easy subject for those who are interesting who are gain interested from this okay okay wait wait for just a second okay ओके सो वी विल स्टार्ट द एंथ्रोपोलॉजी ऑप्शनल फ्रॉम टूडे ओके एंड दो स्टूडेंट्स हु आर विलिंग टू टेक एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एज एन ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट फॉर यू पी एस सी सी एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जामिनेशन दैट यू आर हियर फॉर इन द राइट प्लेस ओके सो फर्स्ट आई विल टेल यू दैट दिस चैनल इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू दैट यू नो एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू द यू पी एस सी सी एस सी ओके सो डू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन दैट यू कैन नेवर miss update which will post time to time okay so before the start lecture i will tell you that how optional subject can choose a students for upsc csc 2024 that is in the mains examination so you can choose for uh, optional subject anthropology okay uh, why anthropology because anthropology is a very interesting subject other subjects also interesting but those students who are willing to this subject and you can start initially with the syllabus of recommended by the upsc okay so just uh, before 2 minutes left we will start the lecture as introductory part of this uh anthropology optional series okay so this is the introductory part not a fine, uh, not a lecture but it is introductory part how can you chase this anthropology optional within time 3 to 4 months you can read this optional subject thoroughly and uh, you will much aware about this anthropology optional with this channel as well as this uh, this pdf which i will 
post in the description below you can purchase this uh, these notes and uh, then you can revise time by time and i will post the current affairs update every month every week and every month and uh, these are the features of this course that is you will not purchase each and every material from market you can find everything in this uh, pdf so you will not purchase from market of the anthropology optional resources okay so the lecture will be start at 6 pm which is uh, only 2 to 3 seconds left okay so here i want to tell you that this subject is very interesting and very easy to cover each and every topic of the syllabus of a upsc syllabus given in this uh, subjects okay so let's start the introductory part of the anthropology series so here this is the anthropology syllabus which is the lecture uh, this google docs first lecture okay so 1 point to 1.8 something the chapters eight chapters are given in this uh, pdf we will cover this pdf with eight uh, only a uh, four to five classes not eight classes but only four to five classes okay so here that is you can see the syllabus of anthropology very effective because the anthropology and upsc previous year question which were asked in anthropology optional that is all about the preparation of anthropology optional for upsc csc 2024 okay so here uh, wait just a minute open the pen which i will mark the pdf okay okay here yes correct so here you can see the first chapter that is meaning scope and development of anthropology you can capture only the keywords that is given here meaning scope and development of anthropology three key terms which are given in this pdf or in this syllabus okay so you will remember these three keywords and anthropologic anthropological perspectives you can solve these keyword based question questions from the anthropological perspectives that uh, we will see the context of this okay here we will start meaning scope and development of anthropology okay and this is the description of this chapter so you can never you not read this but read this from here the meaning of anthropology okay so here the meaning of this anthropology has been derived from the greek word anthropos means man and logos means study so study of man okay so this is the meaning okay so here you can find this meaning of anthropology that is what is anthropology and name of anthropologist uh, such as uh, clark who given the definition of anthropology okay and these are popular definitions given by anthropologists that is aristotle what aristotle said says about anthropology and immanuel kant immanuel kant and al kroeber okay 
so you can remember and next next keyword is here that is the scope scope of anthropology so that what is a scope what are the scope of anthropology in the upsc csc courses okay <coughs> sorry so here is a scope you can see the more accurately you can solve the question based on scope of anthropology this is the update of scope of anthropology which is which was updated in the last week okay such a pdf will be updated every week and every month so you can purchase this and uh, read more thoroughly okay so this is the scope and uh, here you can see the scope of physical anthropology or scope of anthropology in terms of physical okay here physical and uh, cultural anthropology this is the scope okay in the field of cultural anthropology that is uh, from prehistoric archaeology and uh, paleontology what is paleontology you can uh, read and uh, scope of cultural anthropology in technology and ethnology technology that given in here and ethnography okay economic anthropology as is also an cultural anthropology and social anthropology okay these are the questions which were asked in previous year questions uh in the upsc civil services examination means uh, as optional subject okay that uh, here next scope is in or next next scope of cultural anthropology is in religion so you can see here okay and uh, art musicology reaction and uh, folklore okay ethnolinguistics you can find easily this course through the description which are uh, which are these pdfs are given in the description box okay so you can purchase this and uh, read this thoroughly other specialties of uh, cultural anthropology and urban anthropology and uh, scope of cultural anthropology and political anthropology uh, here the applied anthropology and action anthropology these are the scope of anthropology is it what is anthropometry and what how anthropometry affects the anthropological perspectives and action anthropology what is this these are the some questions which are asked in previous year questions okay and uh, next chapter will be relationship with other disciplines what is this that relations of anthropology with other disciplines that is the introductory part of the syllabus so we cannot uh, go in detail that you can see the relationship between social anthropology and sociology what are the difference different and similarities between these uh, social anthropology and uh, uh, anthropology social anthropology and sociology so you can read this okay Uh, this is the uh, branches of anthropology okay relationship between social anthropology and history so these are the similarities and differences between these two terms and uh, relationship between social anthropology and political science and here you can see here the social anthropology and psychology okay a relationship between social anthropology and economy that you can find the find in the syllabus okay that is relationship between anthropology as well as its other disciplines 
लाइक अर्थ साइंसेस पोलिटिकल साइंसेस ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड सोशियोलॉजी ओके सो दीज आर द सम बिहेवियरल साइंस लाइफ साइंसेस मेडिकल साइंसेस ओके सो दीज आर द सम डिसिप्लिन विच इज रिलेटेड टू द एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एंड देयर डिसिप्लिन्स ओके यू कैन सी यर द एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एंड मेडिकल साइंसेस सो हियर मोर इम्पेसाइज अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एंड अदर साइंसेस रिलेटेड टू द other more disciplines with the anthropology that uh, you can see here the anthropology and the environmental sciences and that is how different environmental science from the anthropology so remember this okay and anthropology its relationship with humanities literature folklore cinema performance and uh, performing arts so you can thoroughly read this pdf okay and here the anthropology and the folklore anthropology and cinema so you can read this okay anthropology and art and number 3 the main branches of anthropology only four branches given here the branches of anthropology which are very important these branches are come always at least one questions from this part okay the branch part of anthropology that there are four branches that is physical or biological sciences socio cultural sciences linguistic sciences and archaeological sciences archaeological anthropology so these are the main branches of anthropology and their scope and relevance what are the relevance and scope of these main branches of anthropology so you can read these uh, main branches all about that is that are more important for uh, upcoming 2024 optional anthropology optional examination so you can see here the economic ecological anthropology ethno archaeology anthropology of religion physical anthropology primatology ethnology human biology paleontology human genetics nutritional anthropology medical anthropology physiological anthropology forensic anthropology dental anthropology human growth and development anthropometry ethno ergonomy demography ethnology and archaeological this is the fourth and third main branch of anthropology so you can remember this and fourth and la uh, last main branch of anthropology is linguistic anthropology so you can remember this relationship of prehistoric archaeology with other branches of arche uh, anthropology so this part will study from the archaeological part of the anthropology syllabus okay so don't worry for this chapter we will cover everything from the anthropological perspectives as anthropologist okay so don't worry about this read thoroughly this uh, google doc pdf okay you can find everything and no need to purchase any of marketable book that are useless okay in your preparation here there are solid material you can not find anywhere for upsc optional subject as an anthropology okay because there is 
cover more number of questions related to the UPSC pre uh, previous year questions based topics. Okay, so you can find everything here. And if you know more about this subject, this course, you can watch the watch the syllabus introduction introductory part of this course anthropology optional okay and next is the human evolution and emergence of man so here the how human evolved and what and how human came where from human came from where okay so this is the main part of the anthropology syllabus human evolution and emergence of man that uh, Lamarckism, Darwinism, synthetic theory these are included in the human evolution and emergence of man topic so this this is the very interesting topic that curious man can find the broad perspective about the growth and development of human evolution okay yes so you can find and you are aware about the human evolution after read this chapter okay uh, and after watching my video from this youtube channel so subscribe this youtube channel and also press the bell icon okay that you will be aware about the upsc courses you can see here okay very easily very easy can uh, chase this course because I will be support you 100% and you can only read this this course in my updated course okay so we you will be aware about everything related to the anthropology optional for UPSC CSC 2024 okay so this is the introductory part and uh, introductory part of lecture first we will study next anthropological part introductory part in the next pdf okay yeah so you can see here the next chapter is you can see the theory of organic evolution that is pre-darwinian darwinian and darwinian okay so this is the curious man that darwin was the curious man and uh, lamarck was also a curious man that he bought the theory of anthropological perspective and human evolution this is the Lamarckian theory okay so you can read from this PDF facts of Lamarckism okay and these are given here the examples related to the Lamarckian theory okay so it is very easy to remember because very interesting to know the curious about this course of anthropology okay only you can find this course related to the anthropology optional and here we start from Darwin's theory of evolution natural selection okay these are the four cardinal uh, theory of Darwin's which 
who suggested the theory of evolution that is natural selection first theory was the heritability of traits don't worry i will show you everything of this anthropology optional and second is over production of of spring okay third is variation of of spring traits and the survival and reproduction of the fittest means the world is ongoing that survival of the fittest okay and uh, without it nothing can be survived in this uh, on this planet okay uh, based on these simple observation darwin concluded the following so conclusion of darwinism about the theory of evolution and human evolution and emergence of man so you can conclude here so introduction body part as well as conclusion conclusion you can find related to the means perspective okay this is the mutation theory of evolution that is post darwin and post darwin darwinism is also known as the synthetic theory of human evolution so you can find here the biologist and anthropologist as well as paleontologists derived their theories about to contrast the darwin's theory of survival of the fittest as well as the origin and growth of the animal species or human evolution experiments conducted by hugo de vries this is the experiment were conducted by the uh, conducted by hugo de vries on the tail of the rats okay and certain features of mutation theory this is the mutation theory all about okay the, you can conclude here and here you can see the synthetic theory of human evolution that is a post darwinism you can introduce this and modern synthetic theory of evolution you can read this from here and this is the opportunities or evolution to occur that is the that are the factors which are evolved from the genetic variability within a population okay such as uh, gene variability and uh, natural selection okay reproduction reproductive isolation distribution hybridization okay so these are the factors which are uh, organizing with the theory of human evolution that how human evolved from initial phase on this planet earth concept of evolutionary biology there are three conceptual theory which Uh, who gave the theory of evolutionary biology such as dolls rule and next is cops rule and last one is gauss rule okay these are the example these are the examples and exceptions are given here this is the gauss rule okay so you can find everything related to the topics of anthropology what is parallelism you can find and you can read from this pdf okay role of parallelism in anthropology an impact of parallelism on human evolution okay so you can remember this on adaptive radiation so very easy subject very interesting as well as easy subject you can cover each and every topic related to upsc anthropology optional okay and with effective uh, time management okay pros and cons of adaptive radiation this uh, this is the adaptive radiation and pro its pros and cons adaptive radiation and environment what are the difference and similarities between adaptive radiation and environment darwin's finches this is the finches of galapagos island and uh, south america or latin america which is comparison between these two 
जियोग्राफिकल एरिया विद द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इंचेस ऑफ डार्विन्स रेडाप्टिव रेडिएशन इन हवाई ओके सो दीज आर द गिविन एग्जाम्पल एयर यू कैन राइट इन योर नोट्स एज वेल एज योर प्रैक्टिस सेट ऑफ मीन्स एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल ऑप्शनल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी ऑप्शनल दीज आर द स्पीसीज रिलेटेड टू एडेप्टिव रेडिएशन दीज आर द स्पीसीज ओके सो यू कैन फाइंड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दीज स्पीसीज ओके नेक्स्ट इज मोजेक एवोल्यूशन वॉट इज मोजेक एवोल्यूशन यू कैन फाइंड एयर एंड यू कैन वॉच माई वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट टर्म ओके यस एंड रीड दिस पी डी एफ फॉरली mechanisms of mosaic evolution these are the mechanism genetic drift natural selection mutation adaptive radiation hybridization etc four levels of mosaic evolution these are the levels of mosaic evolution such as intraspecific level interspecific level intrapopulation level interspecified level okay specific level so these are the some specific level of mosaic evolution modern examples of mosaic evolution such as darwin's finches anol lizards human evolution these are the examples related to the mosaic evolution and this is the conclusion you can conclude your in your answer okay hardy winberg law hardy winberg law we will study in the next uh, pdf file as well as uh, i think uh, it is it will be the lecture of 9th or 10th lecture would be covered related to the hardy winberg equilibrium okay so you can take overview from here that thoroughly we will understand hardy winberg equation in the next session next chapter and next lectures okay next is the characteristics of primates so these are the primates related to the anthropological syllabus in the chapter of 1.5 that what is primate that definition of primate is very important in upsc anthropology syllabus okay and these are the characteristics of primate lo primate biology biology okay and some common characteristics of primates so these are the common uh, characteristics of primates okay and classification of primates so you can remember each and every topic which are covered under the upsc syllabus as an anthropology optional okay so this is the comparative anatomy of man and apes a very important heading of this anthropological uh, chapter so these are the comparison between man and apes okay so this is the topic which is your general studies not general study but is in your uh, optional subject as an anthropology okay so these are the similarities and different dissimilarities between man and apes you can remember this very easily okay these are the primate adaptations how human evolved from adaptive radiation as well as terrestrial radiation and how they move through quadrupedalism and uh, or locomotion tac uh, locomotion behavior okay so you can watch my video and uh, uh, read this pdf related to the primates and its ancestors radiation okay so this is the chapter of 5 so here we will find uh, the more topics related to the subject of anthropology optional okay so don't worry about the course of anthropology because we will study thoroughly for anthropology optional okay you will not 
miss any update about this anthropology optional subject okay so don't worry we will cover each and every topic of anthropology optional okay because we have a brahmastra type of uh, syllabus of this anthropology which is given in my description in the description below okay and this is the sixth chapter is your uh, phylogenetic status characteristics and geographical distribution of the following that is the primate characteristics and primate uh, and uh, phylogenetic status of uh, human evolution that is uh, from uh, australopithecus gigantopithecus sivapithecus ramapithecus homo habilis homo erectus homo neanderthalensis homo uh, denisovian okay and uh, finally is the uh, modern human homo sapiens okay so remember this uh, from this uh, we will study these uh, fossil evidences from this chapter okay so don't worry we will cover in the next chapter uh, in the next lecture okay so let's end the lecture from here and we will start early from tomorrow okay at uh, 6 6 pm at evening okay so don't forget to subscribe uh, subscribe the pmis channel hit the bell icon so we will end this lecture from here so let's end the lecture and uh, thank you for watching have a great day